In this video, I'm going to introduce you to Octobrake. The Octobrake is basically a move that allows you to catch a break underneath or above the selected card in the most simplest and cleanest way. That's been said, let's see what it looks like. So go ahead and touch any card you wish. Let's say the King of Hearts. The King of Hearts gets returned into the middle of the pack, so you have a last little glimpse, and it gets flushed into the middle of the pack. At this point, the Magician has full control of the card, so I could basically cut it back to the top, the King of Hearts. And this was basically Octo Break, now let's learn it. So before we start with the explanational part, I just want to uh, introduce you this deck. This is the Artisan deck produced by Fury11, and this deck uh, I got it from a very nice magic shop called BigMagie.com. It is a French magic shop and that was kind of my French pronunciation of the website. It is called BigMagie.com. The link is in, on the screen now so you can uh, spell it the uh, right way. It is a very nice magic shop with the latest magic products and they have truly fair prices for them. So before you buy something elsewhere, go ahead and check out their website first uh, because I'm pretty sure they are cheaper than most or other magic shops. The website is in French, but it is not hard to uh, find the things you, you're searching for. And the owner is a very kind person and speaks English, so you can contact him and get, an, get a reply within uh, a few hours or a day. And they have a very quick delivery. I really like the magic shop called BigMagie.com. The link is in the description box below. You can check out decks, tricks, gimmicks, all these things are av available on their magic shop. So if you're interested in buying something, go ahead and check out BigMagie.com and get something for the best and fair prices. That's been said, let's see the explanation for Octobreak. So here is the explanation for Octobreak. Now I'm going to show you the move from my point of view. You have a card selected, in this case the Two of Clubs. It gets returned into the center of the pack. You show it to the spectator one last time, and then you basically push it flush into the pack. At this point, you can either catch a break above or underneath the card, like so. And now you could basically use any method you wish to control the card to the top. Now let's see how to do the actor break um, more detailed. So first of all, you have a pack in your hands and you want this pack here to touch any card he or she wants to, let's say the king of spades. Now you have to get in this position, okay, where it is side jogged, okay, so it is nearest to your thumb. To make this happen, you take the card, you can take a look at it, you don't have to, you show it to the spag hitters, and then you put it from the back of the deck into the center, roughly into the center. Instead of pushing it flush into the pack, you're gonna contact the corner here so you can push it sideways, okay? And side jog it like this, very simple to do. Notice these three fingers are resting on the edge and the index finger on top, so they are preventing the cards from falling, okay? And your thumb is resting on the side and it is waiting to push the card into the pack. Now the way you are going to push the card into the pack is actually uh, the key point of this move. Instead of pushing it from the middle flush into the pack, you're going to do something different. You are going to push the card from the top corner diagonally into the pack. Okay, like so. Of course, this tab here is exaggerated, okay? You don't want it to be that big. You can have it that big, but I prefer it to be that size, okay? This is perfect. To make this happen, you have to experiment yourself, actually. You have to find the perfect mixture of pushing it straight into the pack and diagonally into the pack. Because if you just push it diagonally into the pack, the stab here is gonna be quite big, okay? But if you experiment yourself and push it straight into the pack and diagonally at the same time, you can achieve the best size of this stab, okay? This is probably the perfect size for me personally. Once you're here, you can either just press on it and catch a break, 
or lift it up and catch a break. Okay, so if you want to control it to the bottom of the pack, you catch a break underneath it, or if you want to control to the top, catch a break on top of the selected card. Now just use any method you wish, like the double undercut, or just do a classic pass to control the cards either to top or bottom of the pack. And this is basically it. I'm just, I'm just gonna run through it one last time. You have a card selected, from the back you push it in and side jog it like this, give the spectator one little glimpse of the card, come back to your position, okay, and you use your thumb on this corner that is visible, the top corner, to push it straight and diagonally into the pack, the perfect mixture uh, will be created by yourself by experimenting with it, and then just push it in and you will have your stab. One thing I like to do is as I'm pushing the card in, I just do this move with my hand. Okay, this is just a little gesture. Okay, instead of just staying still with my hand, instead of doing this only, I'm doing this move. Okay, I just feel that this covers the move even more. Okay, just do this. You don't have to do it, it is just a personal preference. If you want to do it, you can do it. And once you're here, either press on it or lift it up to put your pinky in it and don't forget to push it straight into the pack so it is not sticking out. In this case, I'm just controlling it to the bottom using the double undercut technique and it is here. And this is basically Acto Break. This is probably the cleanest and simplest way of controlling a card uh, to the top or bottom of the pack. Uh, if you like it, go ahead and build it into your own tricks. That's been said, I really hope you enjoyed it and I see you next time.